hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow! What are we gonna do? <laughs> Strong one's yours, brother! Don't tell me! Does Odin want? Don't know. Don't care. Come here, you half breed. You're done talking with Daddy's hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! Ah! Ah! Can't believe you've lied in this. No skinny little dog, baby. I said shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need a lot I'll take the rest. Weak and Yeah! 
The boy's sick. He needs flair. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim, get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father's Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs>
Maybe we can go this way. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wait, Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh, a little memento of your good pal, Sindri? I'm so terribly touched. <coughs> hey, did you hear? Magni, the Aesir god, son of Thor, dead! I know! Now Modi's on a ramp across the park, looking for the killer, swearing that once he finds him, he'll... Oh, shit, that was you guys. We should probably discuss that more quietly. Or not at all. I think that's a great plan. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Uh, wait, no, yes, yes, come in. Done. Was there more? Let me think. Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom? Like, maybe, a whetstone? I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <coughs> Nothing to worry about. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. <laughs>
look. We're back near the giant's head. What? What is this place? Fisherman would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There is an opening. I can get it. There's a path to the exit on the other side. There's a rope up here. <laughs> Under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Rode a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? That you have come a long way. Thanks. Now then, maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret for Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We've got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. It seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. A question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganungagal, the great boy. There were no realms yet, 
only primordial forces. There was fire, and there was ice. And there in the void they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Ymir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. From Ymir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. Called himself All-Father as if he was the creator and not the creator. Creator's destroyer. The small, covetous tyrant. Ymir? Huh? Oh. Sorry, boy. Ah. Uh... Ooh. Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. Brother, the chisel. Setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. I see something over there. It's Tear, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tear was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey. I wonder if the Giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay, so the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods, some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not oh. that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. It smells like. rain? <laughs> You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it, because Magni's gone! I'll be a joke! But if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me! Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! You don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! Oops! I think I broke him! <laughs> oh. No! Stay back! Oh, 
brother, the boy. Atreus. You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Odin's eye is on you, brother, especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Stay as far as there's a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move, and if anyone can heal him, it's hard. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in a god. A god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. Somebody just called the serpent. Shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god! Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your Frost Axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a 
past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Yes. Uh. Boy. Hey, Malay. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be.
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> You cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Right, brother. Let's see what else makes you. I believe I see a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah?
Well, I'm pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. Athena, dead giveaway. Foreign magic. Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's got to be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them, them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well... We all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. And what I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be keeping my eye on you. 